So if you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and take my first turn if you're recording. I say we do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. There's blood right there. Boom. So you couldn't have got anything, anything too big on the first round. Nope. Oh, seriously. Not much of anything. That's interesting. I'm going to do something different. Hopefully it, hopefully it works out in my favor. <laughs> we'll see. You'll have to turn that vibrate off. Yes. I just realized that. <laughs> so this is an interesting trade row. I'm glad to see no early big bombs out. No, don't do that. You don't want that. Too late. <laughs> yeah, with that 3-5 split, you didn't have a lot of options. Yeah, there's really there's really not a lot of options. So since you're taking that scrap, I'll take the other one. I dislike wasting trade early, but Gotta get something good right away. I hear you. Yeah, that early scrap with the trade is definitely a great card. Supply bot's fantastic. And you top deck it in the list. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. And so now I'm down one Viper. My win percentage has mm. gotten a lot better since I started getting rid of Vipers first instead of Scouts. Yeah, they, no, I do that a lot actually. So especially early game, if if I can scrap at all, I'm always even if it's in my hand, I'll scrap a viper over a scout. Totally. Just getting that one extra trade sometimes is literally a big difference. Although I killed myself today, I got my opponent down to one, and uh, he was able to come back and finish me off. I just needed one more point of damage, and because I'd gotten rid of my vipers, it wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that really is the worst and super frustrating when that happens. Yeah, it was. Imperial Fighter going already. But my supply bot's going to take care of that scout you just made me discard. Yeah, see, that's that's an interesting... That's one thing I hate about yellow when the opponent has red scrap. is, And I've, done that, I've had that done several times to me where I have... I'm, discounting cards, but I'm like, whatever, I'm going to scrap it anyway, so it doesn't really hurt me. Mm -hmm. So until you start getting the two... Man, I don't like your economy right now. I do. That's alright. I got really I... lucky with that freighter popping up again. Like, on the top of the deck, to the bottom. So I was able to get that flagship. Well, I'll just beat you up since I can't buy anything. 17. Wow. Yep. Yep. That was a really good I, hand. Not that I need more economy, but I really love the Imperial Trader. Imperial Trader is a fantastic card. Plus, it, it's I mean, a free card because it, it draws a card. Totally. So. I should take that mech world instead. Ooh. <laughs> And I just got, okay, I, I just got an absolute okay. amazing bottom deck. Hmm. So your trade is way, way better than mine at this point. Now I'm curious to see return 13. If I can take you out before your trade has a chance to kick my butt. That's what it's going to take. Don't need more trade, but I can't pass up that cutter. <laughs> that is, I know exactly what you're saying. I, there's been so many times that I've I've literally passed up a four or five card because I'm like, I have to take the cutter. I just need the authority. He does. He does. He does do it. Ooh, why are you taking my green? It's mine. Pair nicely with my uh, battle pot about last time. 
now. Didn't quite get what I was hoping for, but that's all right. Interesting dilemmas. So, people usually don't like taking explorers this late in the game. So it's always interesting to me, the dilemma of taking an explorer or not. Yeah, but you need the economy right now, so it makes sense. Unless I can just keep buying a bunch of these little guys and just beat you up with them. Yeah, well, you're going to buy that Dreadnoughts, so we'll see. Ah, oh, you got it. Okay. That's gonna hurt. But again, I'm doing no damage, and I don't have any way to activate my uh, Fortress of Oblivion, so no more scrap me. Well, it's an outpost, so I'm gonna have to take it out, so that's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, I'm overbalanced on economy, and you're pretty powerful. I mean, I think you've got enough to almost take me out right now if you had all your cards at the same time. Yeah, almost. And you got 22 damage sitting there. Yeah, that's the thing. I almost I I wondered if you went too heavy trade. I think I might have. I don't know if anyone's gonna give me authority right now. Just got more trade. At this point, I buy is not gonna cycle through fast enough to make much of a difference. I didn't realize how much Federation you had actually purchased. You have a lot of life gain. Yeah, I bought a couple of Fed shuttles just because they were cheap and available. Yeah. But fair change, but... I don't really have anything cohesive here. So close. So close. Can't quite do it this turn. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, 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 a pair of fed shuttles to the rescue. Ah, worst timing, worst timing. Great timing, I needed that. I hate it when those stupid little things combo together. At least when they combo when my opponent has them, I should say. Under your opponent's... Hmm. It's not... Super private when you think of it. Don't need to broadcast this to the world. I got you. No, don't get me, please. Oh, yeah, you got me. Nice game. Yeah, I got that ram and then drew into another yellow. So that allowed me to combo those little yellow guys. Flagship, my cutter, and my imperial trader all lined up. Oh, wow, that'd have been. Tough. Let's just do it the same way again. You sure? Because if uh, we do it this way, you'll have to go in reverse to uh, talk strategy. Yeah, that's fine. I was talking enough strategy as I went. There, there wasn't going to be a whole lot more strategy going on. So it, there was. Uh, I'll have to go back and when I record it. But there was. I was really surprised. Um, one purchase, but I don't remember right now. Wow, that was fast. What turn was that? I missed it. 20. Okay. I'm always amazed at these people that went in like turn 14, and I'm like, what on earth are they doing? Oh, yeah. I do the, uh, the challenge missions sometimes, and you know, you're like, when before turn nine, it's almost impossible to do. Right. Yeah. You really have to just get some of those challenges. You just have to get an amazing draw in order to actually accomplish them. So now the dilemma: Did I learn from my mistakes, and I'm not going to buy the freighter that's sitting there in the trade row right now? 
If you have four trade and it's your first turn, you have to buy it. I know, and I did. I mean, the freighter, especially first turn, has got to be one of the most amazing buys you can get. I agree, but it didn't help me last turn. Or last well, that's because you, you had so many of them, though. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to take uh, the Battle Screecher in order to get that trade mo trade row manipulation. Yeah. I am bummed that uh, exposed a trade bot, though. Well, I know I shouldn't, but I've got a real weakness for the Battle Barge. And I it's a great card. Ever pass it up. Not just for the, like, just the fact that it's five damage and makes you discard one is enough for me. It's a, yeah, it's a, put, that's a bonus. Completely agree. I have to completely agree. I can't pass it up. I never can. Even when it's not the best choice, I still can't help it. <laughs> I was debating whether I wanted to take that red Fortress Oblivion. Or the Barter World. Right. The Barter World would have actually comboed with my Trade Bot, Trade Raft. Right. But of course, the red combos with my with my uh, Trade Bot. I am bummed. I only have three trade. Oh, that's painful. That's gonna hurt me. Did you get the four trade to be able to buy that recycle station? Yes, I did. Yeah. That's going to be a huge determining factor in this game right here. It might be. And the fact you're discarding a card right now. I'm okay with the discard, because I'm going to do what you did last game and go ahead and scrap it. But... I don't have a lot of trade. So I'm going to do that. Oh, you suck. That is a lot of blue on the trade rail. it is it wasn't when i heard you say that but now yes it is <laughs> literally five five blue sitting out there let's see what i can do about that i'm okay just leave it all there i'm okay with that just don't take my cutter again uh, one in my pocket right now actually <laughs> I figured. And it gets replaced by a fed shuttle. Oh, wow. More blue. Yeah. Alright. And a mega hauler. And a barter world. It's solid blue still. Wow. Wow. Oh, I am, uh... The most you could possibly have, even if you have and scrap your blob wheel, is seven. True statement. I'm super bummed by all this. I'm also not sitting with enough damage in my deck, and you're sitting with two bases out there that are amazing. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to do the exact opposite of what I should do and buy a, a couple of Trade Federation ships. Or, excuse me, Federation shuttles. I was fortunate for you that that second shuttle popped up. 
I don't think so. I think it's actually ended up biting me in the butt, to be honest. Because it just it just trapped me into buying it again. When what I really need is actually damage. I'm gonna make the same mistake you made last time. <laughs> Challenge I have is you're now gonna combo that every single turn. Okay. Somehow we need to mark this moment that there's a discussion that needs to happen. Right. Based on yeah, because you're obviously you're sitting with the uh, battle barge in your hand. You have two bases out, which is exactly what you want. So you can either make me okay. discard two cards, or you can sit the recycle station twice. That is the dilemma. Yeah, that's that's a huge. I completely understand what you're going through right now. It would be three cards, not two cards. Ah, yeah, correct, because of the battle barge itself. Yeah, so you can. Which I did this in a game yesterday. I got to do this combo three times in the game. And by the end, I was making him discard four each turn. Wow. Wow, it's, that's that's amazing. Which was brutal. Oh, man. What does he do? What does he do? I was actually listening to the uh, Star Realms podcast today. So was I. I'm going to have to start. Uh, I keep. I think it's the second, second time I've mentioned them. I'm going to have to start charging them advertising or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to ditch my Vipers. I'm going to make you discard three. Ah, that hurts. I'm going to buy that barter world. Pretty good staple. I'd be okay if you stopped taking bases, though. And then all of that goes back into my shuffle for the next turn. So I know. Whereas if I recycled, I would have lost my battle barge. Super bummed too, because had you not made me discard anything, which obviously was is not not likely, um, I would have actually had the seven. Yep. That's why. I chose but instead, I have one. I have one. So, nice way to make me kill a turn. Mm. That could be game deciding right there. I already told you, yeah, that recycle station early. And then you got that fighter base on top of it. So I was just like, geez. That, was, that fighter base is actually a really good little base. Even, I've seen people take it early game. Because of that five damage, I've seen them negate two or three turns of damage because of it. Mm -hmm. Because early game, you can't quite get to that five. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the fighter base. Oh, this turn's not going to be good for you, Rich. Ah, you got the Mega Hauler? I got the Mega Hauler. I Mega Hauled. I nice. got my Battle Barge again, so you're discarding four. Wow. I hauled the uh, Imperial Frigate, uh, and I got a yacht. Oh, you! Oh, I see. It's, so you actually used the freighter to top deck it? You're a jerk. Yeah. It's <laughs> not a good thing for you. I'm sorry. Wow. That's OK. Yeah, that's, that's, games. that's super too bad as well, because and wow, and you drew two. Nice. What a perfect draw, seriously. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah. Wow. It's too bad, too, because I just got my Screecher out. Uh huh. And I would have been able to scrap the stupid hauler. Yeah. I say new trade row. I'm gonna take that so you can't have it. Um, the only thing I want out there is that blob world, so. Uh, that is, I told you, new trade rail. I scrapped all of it. Fair enough. And then I took uh, Imperial Fighter, so you couldn't. <laughs> I have my eye on that one, too. I was mad when I saw it come out. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> has my name on it. I'm hoping you don't have, you shouldn't have. Uh, it's possible. 
It's possible you have enough, but I'm hoping you don't. Well, you do have that barter world out there, so yeah. Never mind. You're guaranteed to have it. Dang it. I have the scrap advantage, if that's worth anything. I don't think it is in this game. <laughs> I think it's worth something, just, just not a whole lot. Just not a whole lot. So, and I'm not getting anything for combos at all. Nothing. I finally have trades to do something with. I don't even know what to do. I still can't do anything with your stupid bases up there. Your shuttles didn't match up. That's too bad. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, bad times. Yeah, I'm not getting anything to combo very well, actually. A mega hauler with nothing to buy. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I, I don't That's what you get for buying that ridiculous thing. Man, noon after I bought one of these bases, it got replaced by another base. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that right now. <laughs> Considering you're sitting at 53 life, and you're still going to do damage to me. Draw one of the cards I already have in my deck, then haul an explorer at this point. I just, and I don't have anywhere near enough damage in this deck. And the thing is, there's not even been much for cards... Not even have been available to me to be able to have damage. No. Because you've been, most of them, you've been buying them. I mean, I pick up the Battle Screecher first off, but then from there on, I really haven't had much damage even available to me to buy. I'm going to go ahead and kill your blob wheel. It's been sitting there for a while. Hey. Hey, hey. That, that base you just picked up, too, the Star Market, is actually a fantastic, fantastic base. Well, I love it when I've got the Imperial, uh, uh, the Battle Barge, rather, because opponents will just leave it out there because it's non-threatening, and then it gives me that second base I need to flip it, or with the defense bot, same thing. So I'm incredibly bummed because I got four damage. And of course I need five to get past your stupid Which spider base. Which is exactly why I took out the blob wheel, was for that very reason. It was just in case you have got not enough. It's true. I got four. Blob wheel would have given me the fifth. So now my defense bot comes out with two bases. My frigate comes out and makes you discard two. Here comes the recycling station. Ah, oh, come on. That's the worst. And Nimbus Yacht. It is game over, my friend. Yeah? Yeah. And you're still sitting at 60 life. Man. I made some really poor choices in that game. I look forward to going back through and looking at that and trying to see if there's anything else I even could have done. Good win. Good win. We got separation 74. That's that's a really nice win. All right, game three. Winner takes all. <laughs> Man, I seriously, as of right now, can't even think of a whole lot I could have done that would have actually changed it all that much. No, because you couldn't get past that fighter base. Yeah. That fighter base was out there the entire game. It really was, yeah. I was at least able to take out the stupid recycle station, but even still. Mm hmm Oh. This is an interesting interesting start. I think you'll You might like it. I do like it. We have a bunch of low cost on the trader at the beginning. So Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, really? Out of yeah. everything, that was not the card I expected you to buy. 
I surprised myself, but it worked really well to have that shield last game. Yeah, I know. I know that's what you're and thinking. And the exact on the mech world. And now I have to figure out a way to obviously counter that and get my six damage to be able to take it out. Right. And, I mean, the battle pod's going to be a start, but you got to combo something. I have to get either two of them together. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you suck. <laughs> I'll take your Imperial Fighter. At this point, you also got to be thinking about trade. Mm -hmm. Which is why I grabbed that shuttle. You did? Okay. Oh, and that reveals that. Uh, dang it. Okay. I was actually partly worried you might take the Battle Barge again. If I would have had four... Where would have. Yeah, well, I'm grateful you didn't have the four trade then. <laughs> yeah. So, because that gives me a bunch of damage that I need. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is that leaves that leaves other things out on the trade row that are also advantageous. So this is this is the science I have not figured out yet. And when should I scrap the explorer? What's your thought? Do you have a thought on that one? It's really situational. It depends where you're at economy-wise. If you've got economy, go ahead and get rid of it. If that is your economy, you got to hold on to it a little bit longer. See, I see people, um, many high levels, that any time an explorer comes out, they scrap it every single time. I don't even know. I don't. I don't know that that's the right move either. But I wonder. And I'm, obviously, there's going to be varying opinions on it, but I'm curious. Ooh. Gift. Another battle barge. Mm hmm. So, obviously, I opted not to scrap my scout because, or uh, excuse me, explorer because that's the only real economy that I have other than my uh, couple red. But yeah, if you're going to let me have a battle barge, I'll take it. Not by choice. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think you're wise to hang on to your explorer a little bit longer. All right, so you got five damage coming up, and I've got a six base that just went out. So let's see if Mech World can do its thing for a while. Ah, that is actually I really do like that base a lot. Um, I have a bad tendency of even. Even looking at my deck now, a bad tendency of, of getting multicolors. Yeah, it's just and almost going. rainbow decks. Solid yellow red right now. I've got a full rainbow. But Mech World well, but resolved that. As I say, but exactly, you have the. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. You have the Mech World. And when I get the Mech World, I tend to lean that way. And I'm super bummed right now that you actually have uh, exactly a six defense base out, and I have five damage, just like you said. Yeah. That is so frustrating. That is so annoying. Hmm. Didn't give me a whole lot to buy. That is true. So interestingly enough, I actually chose to scrap that six cost over that seven cost dreadnought mm -hmm. because looking at your economy you shouldn't have enough yet i'm hoping of course that could backfire on me and you end up with the dreadnought but gotta take a risk gotta take a risk it was a good risk of course you got you got decent economy out there and that brain world just came so that's that's frustrating i'm just trying to decide if because of that brain world i buy dual explorers this turn Oh yeah? Thinking about it. There's oh, no other economy start. Yeah, no other economy on the trade row, so that's You're gonna start making discard cards though. I think I'm going to go with more of a turtle strategy this time. Going for the bases. Yep. 
I'm gonna take my tomb in the same turn. Of course, you like this. I uh, the only combat I drew was the battle barge, mm -hmm. which of course is five damage. And you of course still have a six defense bot out there. But I'm gonna lose a card. Yeah, but you still get the base out there and you just save yourself another five damage. That's a total of ten damage that I haven't been able to hit you with. That's huge. That is a good point. I mean that is a fifth of your life. That's that's a really good point. <sighs> yeah, I gotta do it. Not only that. Wow. I've got four different colors coming out this next turn. Yeah. And so it's going to be awesome that I've got that for combo purposes. That's the worst. Because otherwise, this would be a pretty lousy turn. Oh, oh. That gave you the brain world, didn't it? Well, yes. If I want it, I'm going to take the Mega Hauler instead. Ooh. Interesting. It doesn't immediately go into your draw stack. Nope, it doesn't. Not not your not top deck. It'll go into your discard, which is going to sh reshuffle this round. Correct. So. So I really don't like this, um, which is a bummer because there's literally I have actually been paying attention this time. There's literally nothing I could have done. I got the worst draws in order to take out your base, and I just haven't been able to. Um, so, literally, that one move that you did is actually going to stop me from doing much of anything. So... I bought in the game. Right, so that was an absolute amazing choice. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, you bastard. Come on, you've had that out there for like, what, four turns now? It's about time it goes away. I no, should have no, no, killed it that. three the turns ago. The economy, the battle blob popped up and you made me discard one. It's amazing. Even just discarding one, especially early game, I've noticed there's several times that I've been forced to discard one and that gives me the one trade that takes away the one trade that I needed in order to buy that yeah. one extra bit card. Yeah. That's happened to me a ton. 13 damage coming my way. And I'm still just getting dirt for economy. All right, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. I can't seem to afford it for anything, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Hmm. I was counting on having to discard one. Pleasant surprise. That's right. Next turn, you won't be so so pleasant. Freaking good cards out there right now. <laughs> I know. Did you pull the Mega Hauler? Or is it still in your deck? No, it's still in my deck. But I'm, I'm okay seven, with that. I've got seven trade. Do you really? Wow. There's so many options. Good ones, too. Good ones, too. You yeah, see, and this is where we were talking separately. Um, where trade row manipulation, I find to be... I've, I've discovered to be more and more powerful. Mm -hmm. That screecher that I had last game was really nice because I was able to help manipulate the trade row a little bit to trunk truncate your Mega Hauler a little bit. Mm -hmm. This game, I don't have that at all. And so we got four amazing cards sitting on the trade row right, trade row right now and I can't do anything about it. And I feel like I've got no choice but to hate draft the battle cruiser. <laughs> Cuz otherwise it's going to pair up with the the uh, I can't remember the name of that card. The battle barges and make my life really miserable. Well, you'll have a little bit of fun with this round then. That was a. That was. A, I needed that round. <laughs> I've been expecting that for a while. 
Yeah, I needed that one. I needed that one a lot. It's still interesting. I don't know if it's. I still don't know if it's enough, but I needed it. So. It might be. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I'm glad you can't combo and draw a card. Your mega hauler, and you don't have a second base in there. Right. So, so I'm grateful for that. Ditched the defense bot. You still get to scrap two cards out of your deck, which is brutal for me right now. No, only one. I had to discard the defense bot. Oh, that's right, because I made you discard three cards. Mm -hmm. But I did haul the Dreadnought. Yeah, uh, that's a easy decision this time around. Yeah, it was. Your deck is actually thinner than I realized it was. And that makes me sad. If you don't kill me, we make it to turn 20 again. I definitely can't kill you this turn. I do not. I don't even know that I have 24 damage in my deck. Plus, you have four defense base out there. True. I know you definitely have 17 damage in your deck, because you have that ram and the two... A battle barges. Oh, you bought the battle block. Yeah, you've got plenty of damage. So I'm actually... I always hate not using a scrap, but I'm not going to use one of my scraps to buy that ram. So I was able to snatch that Imperial Frigate and the ram that turn. So even with your big cards, I'm still on par with you for damage in decks. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit more defense and a lot more life gain than I do, though. Speaking of, I'm going to take advantage of focusing on life gain right now as opposed to trying to get anything else. Because I know I've got... 13, 14, up to 19 damage coming my way. Depending on if you decide to kill your battle station. I'm just debating uh, whether I grabbed the red knot or not and decided not to. Yeah, I can see why you did that. Well, I wasn't going to scrap the ram, but now I am. And I have learned thus far that this is definitely too late in the game to buy explorers. So, <laughs> although I do have the two trade, I will not be buying an explorer. Good, good call on your part. This is a tighter game than I expected it to be. And yes, I scrapped that red destroy base so you couldn't have it. Man, but I wouldn't get it to know what's in your hand right now. You could have <laughs> five yellows and make my next turn miserable. So I have actually never done that in a real game, a match between a person. I did it in the endurance tournament once. That was Did you really? That's that's the worst time too. Yeah, pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so it comes down to scrapping my frigate and that's interesting. Well, I have a trade bot, but I don't have anything to scrap. Oh, I didn't see you gain life. That's right, that stupid Mega Hauler. Five gain. I hate the Mega Hauler. Me too. <laughs> I usually get disappointed by chasing it like I did this time. 
So I'm coming at you with everything. I even scrapped my base. To take you out. Wow. Good turn. Geek, geek. And you've got... 10, 11, 12, 13 damage sitting in your deck. What's nice, though, is you'll be able to combo... You'll be able to make me discard a card. Wish you hadn't done that. So an interesting thing, that's something else I've noticed, actually, about some high-level players, is they tend to scrap bases much more than a new player ever will. Uh-huh. That's something... I've, that's a very big point that I've noticed the difference between um, high-level and low-level players. Mm -hmm. totally. I'm still... I'm still in that state where I'm like, no, but I really want the defense. But there's several games, there's a couple games I've actually lost that I could have won if I had scrapped my base for well, the damage. This one's yours. Finish me. Well, you should, you should get, it'll be close. Because I figured you'd come out with that, uh, that base, so I gotta be able to do 10 damage. That should not be a problem. Well, I got a pretty bad draw, so we'll see. I'm actually just barely going to have it now I'm looking at it. Barely is enough, yeah, though. yeah. And I used my frigate and drew a scout. That's what happened my last turn, where I scrapped my uh, six-cost yellow ship. And battleship and drew a scout. Yeah, exactly, right? So literally just barely. I got you to zero. The uh, five five from the ram and the four from the frigate and the one from the viper. I, I had Dreadnought and Mega Hauler lined up ready to go. And I was uh, bad you. Yeah, that really would have been bad for me. Good. What a close game. I I honestly once you took once you had that, and you had that uh, mech roll out there for th three three turns, I think it was. I I seriously am surprised I was able to pull that out. Yeah. That's that was a that was a crazy game. That was. I'm going on challenge to report the uh, results right now. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That was fun, man. It was.